Crystal Moss asks, My husband is joining and we have two puppies. I was looking around for information on post housing and the pet policy, but had no luck. Do you have any info on the subject? I myself have two dogs. Uh, their names are Nikki and Drake. They're both half Chihuahua, half Terrier. And here's a little clip of them being naughty. <laughs> What is happening guys, Sergeant Masiba here. Today's video, we will be talking about the pet policy within the military. We're actually gonna be focusing on the army and where I'm stationed right now, which is Fort Hood, Texas. It may differ depending on what post, what state, or if you're stationed or gonna be stationed overseas. It might be a little different because of the strict rules, but it pretty much follows the same outline throughout the military. I apologize for my voice. I just woke up. I'm not really feeling really well, but I feel like making this video. So let's get it on. Well, first things first, good news for you guys. Pets are allowed in the military. The only thing is if you're gonna be deployed, if you're gonna be stationed somewhere away from your home station, or if you are going to basic training, if you are going to AIT or some sort of TDY or training or whatever it may be, and if you live in the barracks, you can't have any pets. So that means if you are married, if you live on post or off post, or you're a single soldier and you have an apartment off post, depending on your situation, yes, that is the time where you you can actually have pets at home but when having pets at home try to remember this pets are a part of our families meaning that you have to take care of these animals 24 7 you have to care for them you have to like actually give them love you have to feed them you have to bathe them and all that being in the military you go to work be there for long hours from like 6 in the morning up to like 1800 at night depending on what your job is but pretty much that's a regular timeline if you're in the military. Within those hours, you basically don't have any time to spend for your pet, not to include your family. So you gotta make sure if you have pets and you're gonna be working, you have someone at home or a pet sitter or someone to take care of your pet, especially if it's a dog, because you have to walk your dog as every certain, every so often. You have to walk them out so they can poop and pee. And uh, you can't just leave them inside the cage the whole day. Basic rule of thumb, if you have pets, you have to be responsible. You can't just have them and just neglect them. So pet policy within the military, within the army, specifically on Fort Hood. Pet policy, the following animals are allowed in our homes. Three, pet limit any mix of cats and dogs. Cats, domesticated only. You can't have any hybrid of a bobcat or um, a savanna or anything wild like that. Just domesticated cats. Um, if you're going to have a cat, I prefer a munchkin, by the way. I think they're pretty cool and cute. Dogs. Any dogs, excluding those that are restricted breed. I'll be showing you a picture here somewhere. Most of them are definitely going to be the American Pitbull Terrier. The Stafford, Staffordshire Terrier, American Staffordshire Terrier, a different, you know, picture right there. Uh, Staffordshire Bull Terrier, a Roddy, a Doberman Pinscher, a Chow Chow, a Jackal, Coyote, a Wolf, a Wolf Hybrid. So basically all the dogs that I mentioned, all the dog breeds, and uh, including the mix of uh, those breeds. And any dogs that demonstrate a propensity or dominance or aggressive behavior or a good example if uh, your dog got out even though it's not on the list of the uh, breeds that are not allowed. If they bite someone, if they attacked someone, definitely they have to report it. And even though if they had shots and they're good with everything, they have to be uh, quarantined and they have to be out of the housing area because it's basically posing a threat to uh, people that are living in your community on post. Getting more in detail with the dog behaviors, here's more lists of things that you should watch out. Unprovoked barking, growling, or snarling at people when they approach. Aggressively running along fence lines when people are present. Uh, biting or scratching people definitely that's a given you know that escaping confinement or restriction to chase people those are the signs um not gonna lie my dogs always slips out of the fence because they're pretty small and uh they're not really used to seeing other people besides us or when we go to the dog park so you gotta watch out for that and it's mainly nikki uh reptiles are not allowed 
Um, these are snakes, lizards, turtles, tortoise, crocodile, and alligator. Come on, how are you going to bring that on post? I don't even think that's possible, but there are some of you guys that are thinking about that. Iguanas, Komodo dragons, Newt, Gecko, uh, Gila monster. You can't have those things, those uh, reptiles. Um, arachnids, spiders, obviously, and scorpions. You're not allowed to have them, even though there's a close pet smart or like a little pet shop somewhere in Fort Hood that I know. Sorry, you can't have them if you live on post. Rodents, mice, rat, gerbil, mole, beavers, squirrel, porcupine, chipmunk, a prairie dog, a groundhog, a gopher, a shrew, bat, and a hedgehog. Um, for the wild animals, you can't have fisher cats, fox, weasels, raccoons, monkey, and skunk. You'll see them around on, fo on post the wild ones but you can't capture them and you can't have them as a pet exotic animals these are ferret rabbits and chinchillas farm animals definitely you can't have them on post these are the pigs the pot-bellied pig the horse the cow um, chicken sheep and goat birds of prey um, the hawk a buzzard buzzard i don't know how to pronounce that a vulture an owl a falcon a harrier and a kite you can't have those animals that I just mentioned. And if you're thinking of having a pet and you're in the military, one thing that I should mention to you guys also is when you PCS, you are basically in charge of the fees. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I was stationed in Germany before going back to the States. I hear people, especially a buddy of mine, uh, uh, they PCS'd with two dogs. So they had to pay the fees for those dogs and you have to have them uh, completed with all, all their shots. They have to be quarantined for a certain amount of time. I think it's like months actually to make sure they're clear. I think especially if you're going to Japan or somewhere, somewhere really... Uh, strict uh, when it comes to pet policies and then they're gonna be in the kennel in the cage for the whole trip you can't even see them so imagine how frightening it may be for your animals for your pets if they're not used to being in cages for that long and there's also a possibility that yep they've been quarantined they're good with all papers but for some reason some some shit comes up that you can take only one or you can't take that certain animal because it got sick and then you're gonna end up leaving that animal behind and if you don't have any friends behind it you can count on I don't know what's going to happen to the animal it's going to be a bad day so we don't even want to go that path so do your research ahead of time like way ahead of time if you're really planning to have an animal because it's a big responsibility and you have to pay a lot and don't just jump into conclusions if you're not ready basically that's what i'm saying so that's about it for this video guys i apologize if it was too long but i like this type of videos i guess so post a question in the comment section down below give it a thumbs up and please subscribe so you will know when I upload a new video. I'm actually uh, trying to hear more um, questions and comments for you guys now because uh, I like it. I like answering your questions. It gives me video ideas as well. And um, see you guys in the next video. Appreciate your support. Sergeant Masibai out.